Hello, in this Bootstrap 4 video, we're going to show you media objects. Media objects allow you to group and float different media items such as images, video, audio, text, that sort of stuff. And it provides a bunch of styling which makes you look really, really cool. And you can position it to the left or to the right of essentially the container. And what I want to do is also show you, or actually, once I've coded it, I want you to just think for a second what it looks like because chances are you've seen something very similar. First of all, I'm just going to change the last element, aka this one, to span 12 columns in the extra large screen size. I'm going to remove the blue background simply because it's going to look a bit nicer with our media object. So now this is on a separate line. Inside here, I'm going to get rid of the hello world. Now let's start creating our media object. So I'm going to put div class media. This is all built in, all these classes are, so we're not going to be coding any CSS for any of this. Even though I'm putting it within an element which is which has classes of column and how many column spaces you want it to span, you can put it outside of the column, put it outside of the row, put it outside of the container, but it just works a lot better within bootstraps elements and CSS so within here I'm gonna put an A and for this I'm gonna put a class of media dash left href and for this I'm simply just gonna put a, actually no I'm gonna put a Google actually I won't even put Google I'm gonna put sonar systems .co.uk and in here gonna put an image which is gonna serve as the thumbnail essentially src equals you also need a class we'll add the source in a moment media dash object and for the image you want a square image I've got a link to one right here copy and paste that in it's quite a big URL so outside of the anchor tag we're gonna do div and this div is gonna have a class of media body so this is the meat of this media object inside here we're gonna do h4 and the h4 will have a class of media dash heading and this will be the title of your media object. I'm going to put awesome title then on a separate line simply put the media body in terms of the meat of the content at the content like the text. For this I've got a random paragraph right here so copy that paste it right here and now we're all looking good I'm just gonna save this go back to our web browser refresh and there we go we have a media object within that element and now if we start resizing it it adjusts accordingly and the reason it's gone like that is simply because on the medium screen size this spans four columns and it works really well it doesn't sort of overflow or do anything like that so it's great for a blog for news websites and as you can see it's adjusting amazingly well and I said at the start of this video I want you to look at this and have a look what does it remind you of and if you haven't already guessed it's like commenting on a lot of blogs so they'll have usually this will be a thumbnail or an icon of the user that's commented this could potentially be the date or even the title for the comment and this could be the actual comment itself or actually no Sorry, this will usually be the name of the user that's commented. This would be the icon or the thumbnail of the user, as we said, and this will be the comment that the user has posted. So this is a great way for creating comments on your website without having to do all the styling for it. But obviously you can do a lot more. Like I said, you can use it for blogs, for media articles, for news, that sort of stuff. So that's it for the basics of media objects. Actually, one last thing 
if you simply put this as media dash right save it go to the web browser refresh do and put this afterwards like so as you can see it is now on the right with a couple of small changes we can adjust the position of the objects inside of the media object I'm going to revert it to how it was because I liked it like so so that's it for media objects if you have any questions feel free to post them on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php there'll be a link in the description to that so you don't need to remember it plus there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video and as usual thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day